Hey viewers, what's up? My name's Ayla Tuskamabek, and I'm sitting here alone in my basement talking to my camera, and I am incredibly uncomfortable doing so. But I'm doing it for a great cause, the school newspaper, which I think is a wonderful initiative that is started up this year at our school. I really do think it's a wonderful thing. It's run by such great people, and I'm happy to be able to be part of this in some way, as I am departing this good high school. I'm graduating in just about two weeks. Uh, so I was asked to answer a question, just sort of reflecting on my high school experience, obviously being that it wasn't a traditional high school experience because I kind of have essentially, I guess you could say a full-time job while also still going to school. Uh, though I should mention that at this point in time I am technically speaking a part-time student. I have more than enough credits to graduate, but I definitely was very conscious, conscious, conscious of <laughs> the courses that I chose going into this year and also the year prior. I did some courses online because I knew that I wanted to spend time doing what I love doing. And so before I go much further, I should really make abundantly clear to you, the viewer, what the question is that I'm answering from Michelle, who is pretty much done her 8th grade year at this point. Uh, and so the question was, how did you balance your outside of school commitments with being in school? And also sort of paraphrasing, but that's basically what she asked me. And yeah, to continue on what I was saying, uh, I think really just be very on top of your schedule because otherwise things can get very overwhelming and so finding what works for you in terms of keeping track of everything going on in your life so personally speaking I'm a calendar gal uh, I'm a physical calendar gal you know the paper calendars that people write in I have one right by my bed I look at it every morning, every night, I write in it, and I think the act of remembering, sorry, the act of writing in it really helps me remember uh, what it is I'm supposed to be doing. And being able to see it really helps me personally because when I'm feeling overwhelmed, being able to sort of see the space between everything that I'm doing and sort of the timelines I have to work with and work within, it's really helpful for me personally, but do it whatever works for you, whether that be an eye calendar kind of situation, or I don't know any other ways, but if you have a way that works for you, and it works for you, work with it, and do it. So, I think more importantly though, sort of reflecting on what my high school experience has been like, especially because I'm almost done, and I think that is what a lot of people do in the end of the grade 12 year. They think about what their high school experience was like. And for me, I definitely can say with confidence, I gave up a lot of what constitutes, as I was saying, a traditional high school experience to pursue what I love doing. And obviously, at times, it maybe feels kind of isolating and terrifying to live your life in a drastically different way than a lot of people around you, but ultimately you need to do what makes you happy and what feels right to you. And, uh, you know, I have had summers where I've seen less than three friends and I've cooped myself up in my basement and practiced for 10 hours a day. And that's what felt right to me at the time. And obviously I miss a lot of school and I travel a lot to work on various projects, right? If you don't know, I am currently in two bands that are recording and touring and I work with a lot of other people as a session player or a songwriter or whatever else, it doesn't matter, who cares? But basically it takes up a lot of time, that's all you need to know. But also what you need to know is that I love it and that I wouldn't trade what I'm doing for any other experience in the world because it's the love of my life, and I'm very lucky that I found my true passion at such a young age. And if you, too, relate to this statement and you found what you love doing, I 
think that you just have to do it. And it's as simple as that. And I know sometimes it's not as simple as that, but don't ever be afraid to live your life the way that feels right to you. And obviously make the most of your high school experience, but make the most of your life in general because high school is just one part of your life. And if you find that what you truly love might not necessarily be entirely part of high school life, then that's okay too. It's okay to do that. And I don't regret a thing about the way that I chose to sort of give up a lot of my teenage years to my passion. And I wouldn't even say I gave it up, I gave it to my passion, if that makes sense. I'm sorry, it's very late at night. If you have more questions, send me an email or write me a letter and I can answer them more clearly. I don't know if this made an incredible amount of sense, but I tried my best to address this great question. And have a great night, viewers. Take care. Comb your hair. You don't have to do that, but feel free to do so. I should stop. I don't, I actually can't. Um, anyways, thanks so much.